Did you know that most of the fruit and nut trees you buy at the nursery are actually grafted? And that means you're actually joining two pieces of plants together to make one. I'm here with our statewide fruit and nut extension specialist, Dr. Michael Polozola, to tell us a little bit about grafting. So Michael, what are the two main reasons that grafting is done and why do we actually buy grafted plants? So let's use pecans as our example, which mm -hmm. we have here. If you plant pecans by seed, they don't come true to type. Okay. And you can't root them as a cutting, they just sit there and die. Yeah. So a lot of fruit trees, what you do is you graft. So you would use what you would normally use for like a cutting mm -hmm. and you would graft that on top. And as these heal, what it is, is you're lining up the green cambium layers on these two. Yes. And those will heal and fuse. Now mm -hmm. we do another kind of whip cut that makes them hold together just like this where they so it's very it. stable it's yeah, very okay. stable mm -hmm. and that will help it heal up much quicker and then you even wrap it up further to create the best conditions for healing now we graft early in the spring late winter where it's cool overcast because mm -hmm. they're going to heal better in those cool and shady conditions and ultimately we're going to hope that these take and grow and we have successful pecan trees to be able to share. And Michael, I know that grafting is not unique just to pecan trees. We also graft magnolias, citrus, even Japanese maples. Right, and that process of grafting takes extra time than mm -hmm. rooting something from a cutting. And that's why your fruit trees and your other ornamentals that are grafted often cost more because there's some loss in every step of yeah. the process. This might not take, or in mm -hmm. just the time you have in growing the rootstock and the sign wood trees. Makes a lot of sense. Well, look, thank you so much for giving us the basics on grafting. So for Get It Growing, I'm Jason Stagg with Dr. Michael Polozola for the LSU Ag Center.